Hey folks, how you doing? Um, I just, uh, if you haven't heard by now, last night they surrounded the refuge and um, for now it looks like the FBI is back down and uh, they're going to let Michelle, the assembly woman from Nevada, I believe that's where she's from, and Reverend Graham go into the refuge or meet him at some point and walk him out. Um, to you, to all you FBI agents out there, you know, I'm a veteran and I'm sure most of you are veterans. How you can take orders from above when these people are, are just protesting peacefully to try to get the nation to understand that something is wrong. Um, how you people can let Hillary Clinton keep campaigning out there is just beyond me. Our politicians have gone totally corrupt, okay? It's all about making money, okay, while we suffer. And as you as agents, how you can sleep at night, I just don't get it. You know, I don't. You're supposed to be taking an oath to our Constitution. Have any of you read our Constitution? Because if you did, you would not be doing this right now. I mean, for, for crying out loud, look at Ferguson. I mean, look at the riots. Black Lives Matter. These people looted, started fires. These people are doing the darnest things, and you don't do a thing about it. These people never get arrested. These people always get praised. And... Here it is, you have four people that stayed into Camp Finnegan to try to do the right thing, to try to wake Americans up to the oppression from our government. And you do absolutely, you know, all the bad things that you could play and think to these people. I think you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't know how any of you could sleep at night. My thing is, read the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, people, because right now, our country is falling fast, and all of you out there believe everything you hear from mainstream media, and you believe it like it's the truth, and it's not the truth. You know, Pete Santilli was broadcasting live throughout this whole standoff, okay? And what happened to Pete Santilli? He's sitting in federal penitentiary right now, along with Ammon Bundy, his brother, and, you know, you people need to wake up, okay? Our country... Is not our country anymore. Um, something's got to be done. We got to organize. People, we need to do something. Please wake up. Share this video. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to your friends. I'm a truck driver. I see, I hit 20 to 30 different docks a day. And I see people like me all over the place. But you know, here we are. We're not organized. But then you got the liberals. George Soros organizes Black Lives Matter. And, you know, look at look what they can do. We're a lot better than they are. And if they could do it, we can do it 10 times better. Uh, like I said, FBI, if you touch any one of these people and harm them, there is going to be blood on your hands again, okay? You're already in trouble for killing LaVoy Finnegan. Don't go any farther. You touch these people, you're going to have a bloodbath, okay? I'm warning you. Now, people, whatever you can do, whoever you can call, call. Because right now, it's really it's starting to fall fast, okay? And I just wish people would wake up and realize, you know, your freedoms are being taken from you, all right? So let's stand together. Let's pray for these people out there. And um, let's hope that all this turns out well, okay? Have a nice day.